today's uh, orientation for the crew of the uh, USS Toledo. Uh, this is the, the final phase of testing for the submarine steam suit ensemble. The, the existing suit was, was fielded uh, around 2002. Shortly thereafter, uh, we started receiving uh, input from the fleet that, that maybe some improvements could be made. When we first heard about this, we thought it was a great opportunity to improve the suit for the user. Office of Naval Research and Tech Solutions provided the funding to get this project off the ground. Specific enhancements are, uh, it, it allows for more maneuverability. A self-contained breathing apparatus on the outside of this suit, so it allows the user to either recharge or replace the bottle if he needs to. It's lighter, so less, uh, less of a burden on the user. Additionally, and it shouldn't be lost, we've also uh, made some improvements to the glove. We're trying to improve the dexterity and the tactility again so that the user can perform the mission so much better. Uh, well, I thought it was very valuable for my whole division to be up here uh, and see what the new steam suit's going to be in the way that uh, it's making things better for the sailors. I thought it was uh, very helpful uh, with seeing the new steam suit that we're going to be using. To be able to see the differences between the old steam suit and the new steam suit and how uh, it affects both speed with getting into it as well as mobility through the engine room. Well, the new steam suit, it's, it's one piece, which is a huge difference, potentially cutting the donning time in half. The old steam suit, I just looked at it and I'm like, this is, you know, this is not good. And now that we're actually getting a new steam suit out there, it's, it's a lot better. It makes me, makes me feel safer. So hopefully our feedback uh, and our ability to use this steam suit will help the rest of the fleet. It was Tech Solutions that stepped up and said, yeah, we need this. And they're the ones that made it happen.